Welcome to Tabata workout number five of this Tabata series. Remember, 20 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. We got eight movements. We're going to cycle through four times for a total of 20 minutes. Make sure you click here to get warmed up. Also, don't forget to comment. Let me know how your day is going below. And then also at the same time, subscribe so you don't miss any workouts. Let's get this show on the road. First movement that we're gonna do is gonna be a Spider-Man mountain climber. So plank position. We're gonna go right knee, right elbow with a slight shift forward, left knee left. And you're gonna get a good pace. It's not a race for this one, but I also don't want you to go too slow. So just nice and easy, especially for this first cycle. You're gonna start to feel those obliques engaging as well. Good. Good, well done. Okay, we're gonna go to our back. We got toe touches next. So legs up. Now, I'm not very flexible on the hamstring, so slight bend is okay. And we're gonna crunch. If you can go to your toes, awesome. If you can go to your shins, that's fine as well. Just keep pushing that belly button to the ground. Good, let's get a good pace. Well done. Okay, we're back to the mountain climbers. So plank position. Another thing that's really nice about the mountain climbers, it's gonna target those shoulders. It's gonna force those shoulders to really engage to hold your upper body, I should say your whole body up in this position. Great for stability. Nice and controlled. Really get that knee out wide. Tap that elbow or that tricep and back. Good. Well done. Okay, we got ankle wiggles next. Enjoy this one. Feet flat on the ground. Hands are gonna touch the ankles. And we're gonna crunch those obliques. Lift the shoulders off the ground, tuck the chin, and really over-exaggerate that crunch. As soon as we're done here, we're gonna hop to our feet. We're gonna do standing elbow to opposite knee. Get that heart rate up. Good. Okay, I'm hopping up. I'm gonna stand here, right elbow, left knee, left elbow, right knee. Soft feet, here we go. Nice and easy, getting that heart rate elevated. Going from the side here. Good, stay with me. Good, okay, back to the mat. We got crunches couple things feet will be flat hands can go behind your neck to help support the neck or if you want or here we're just gonna crunch pushing that belly button to the ground good work keep breathing you got this engage the midsection well done, back to our feet. We got the elbow to opposite knees. And then I promise you, I saved the best for last. Here we go. You're probably wondering, what does that mean? You got the hollow body hold next. Good, we got five seconds, keep pushing. Whew. All right, hollow body hold on your back. You're gonna be an upside down banana today. First option, knees bent or one knee bent, looking at that belly button, hands over your head. Progression, both hands and legs out in front, lift up, look at that belly button, knee in if you wanna modify, push the belly button to the ground, really push all the way to the end. Good. That's a tough one. Keep working on that. We got one down. Great job. So we got three more to go. I wore a really bright shirt to brighten your day today. I got to brag again. Another morning. It's perfect out. I think some mornings you hear more birds. Some mornings more airplanes. It's been pretty quiet today. Okay, we're gonna do all that again. As I mentioned earlier, cardio, and then we have an ab focus as well, or a core focus, however you want to term it. 
If you need to modify anything, feel free to modify. If you got to grab a drink at any time, grab a drink at any time, or wipe your face with a towel because we will be sweating. Here we go. We're back to that Spider-Man mountain climber. We're going to be in that plank position, and you're going to have a nice slight shift forward, and we're going to really try to get the knee out wide so that it either touches your tricep or your elbow. You got less than 10 seconds. Let's do it. No turning back now, guys. This is it. Plank position, nice and wide. Slight shift forward to allow you to touch that. Shoulders are getting fired up. Well done. I see you. Don't stop short here. All 20 seconds. I need you to finish strong. Toes up. I really need to stretch out. We all have our deficiencies, I'll call them, or asymmetries or things we need to work on. Mine is flexibility. We got the toe touch here. Keep reaching. Good. Finish strong. I say that all the time. That's key, especially when you have short work periods and quick hit workouts. All right, we're back to the Spider-Man mountain climbers. If you have wrist issues and this bothers you, you can always go forearm with a slight knee. This is just as challenging, gang. You know what else is good too? If you have a set of dumbbells, put the dumbbells down. It gives you more of a neutral grip, makes it a little bit easier as well in the wrists. Here we go. Ankle wiggles. Tuck that chin. Exaggerate that lateral crunch. Good work. As soon as we're done here, we're hopping to our feet. We gotta make it quick. Good. And up. Right elbow, left knee, left elbow, right knee. Arms up, here we go. Good crunch. I remember seeing these. It's probably been decades ago now. I think it was Sean T. I was always rocking these bad boys out. Good. Catch your breath. We're down on the ground. We got crunches. Feet flat. Arms up. We're going to crunch or hands can go behind your neck. Same rules apply. Focus on pushing that belly button into the spine, or in this case also, the mat. Good. I really just feel these engaging. Feels good. Back to our feet. Elbow to the opposite knee, followed by hollow body hold. Here we go, arm up, let's go. Stay with me. You versus you, I'm here to help. Whew. And a hollow body hold. And we'll grab a drink. Remember, one knee can be bent. Hands over your head. Or we're gonna go straight legs. Knees bent. This is the hardest one for me. Whew, good job. That is two down. You're halfway through this workout. Grab a quick drink. Usually in every video, I want to know where you're working out from, what city, what state, what country. Tell me how your day's going. And also, any good feedback on how we can make these things 
you know, more challenging, easier, more progressions, less progressions. So you can really maximize these workouts when you have the time to do them. Remember, this is about you. It has nothing to do with me. I'm just here guiding this and trying to hold you accountable. But that is on your shoulders. Okay. I can be in your living room every single day if you want me to. It's a dangerous thing, but I can help you in that way. Okay, here we go. Spider-Man Mount Climber, round number three. Leave it all on the mat. Let's do this. Plank position, knee wide. Here we go. Shift forward. Remember, forearms, if you have any wrist issues or a set of dumbbells, Makes it a little bit easier being in a neutral position. Good, well done. Okay, to the mat, we got the toe touch. In my case, we got the ankle touch. Okay, belly button to the ground. I can feel the water moving around in my stomach. Make sure you stay hydrated. Neutral. Keep pushing. Well done. Okay, I'm going to go from the forearms on this one. From a demonstration standpoint, eyes directly above those wrists, or I should say hands, and you're going to shift forward. You will feel the shoulders as well. I'm going to go hands flat. Really bring that knee up as far as you can. This is challenging. Don't face plant. Good. And then we're gonna finish with the ankle wiggles. And then we'll be on our feet. Shoulders up, tapping side to side. If you wanna go farther with the feet, meaning farther away from the body, makes you have to reach a little bit farther. I have a little bit longer arms, it makes it a little bit easier for me. If you have some shorter arms, it might make it a little bit more challenging, which is a good thing. Good. Is that college basketball, that reach. Here we go, elbow drops in knee. Now that I'm retired, arms really aren't good for anything. Good. Whew. Soft feet, get it going, get it going, get it going. And we're to the ground. Crunches, feet flat, hands up, or behind the neck. I'm gonna go behind the neck here, pressing down, good. And breathe. Good work. Back to our feet. Two more movements here. And then we'll grab a drink. Good crunch. Keep going, come on. Good job. And the torture. Saving the best for last. Hollow body hold. One knee bent, hands up overhead. Or stray leg. This is challenging for me. Really activates that lower back as well. Ooh, good job. Grab a quick drink. We got one more to go. One of these days, guys, I'm going to jump in the pool. I can't tell you what workout it's going to be. So you just got to do them all because you'll find out which one. It's actually pretty cold in the pool right now. Might not be a good idea. Okay. Round four, coming up. Finish this, 
Leave it all on your mat. We've got eight movements. We'll be done in about four minutes. The rest of your day is all yours. Make sure it's a productive day. Make sure you get after it. I like to do a lot of these in the morning so that the rest of my day I feel pretty good, um, you know, getting my workout in first um, just from a mental standpoint as well. If you're doing this at night time or in the afternoon, that's fine as well. Uh, but I enjoy the mornings. It just fits with my schedule and also uh, kind of gets me going. Here we go. Plank position, right elbow, left knee. Excuse me, right elbow, right knee, left and left. Let's do it. Good shift. Well done. Good work. On our back. Toe touch, ankle touch. Here we go. I also like to, maybe weird, but I like to have my hand on my midsection. You can feel the engagement. That's what I want. It's more about feel. If you can only crunch this high up, but you really engage that midsection, that's doing a good job. You don't have to over exaggerate it. Just try to, you know, to achieve something, especially as you start to fatigue, just really get a good feel for it. It's not a race. It's not a contest. It's you versus you. Good work. Stay with me. Knee to elbow. Good. Well done. We got ankle wiggles. And then we'll hop to our feet. Here we go. Tuck that chin. If you have to stay down like this because the neck is bothering you, that's fine. If not, get those shoulders off the ground. If you need to hold your neck, that works too. Okay. No pain is ideal. If you have any issues, we can always modify. Good. Ankle wiggles done. Hop into our feet. You got four more movements here. Right elbow, left knee, left elbow, right knee. Let's do it. Get a good crunch. Right here with you. We got this. 10 seconds. Push, push. Good job. Okay. Crunches next. Feet flat. Reach into the ceiling. I'm here with you. Come on. Feel that burn. Good work. Two more movements. You got this, come on. How about opposite knee? It's the fourth quarter, there's less than a minute left. We gotta win the game here. Good. Push to the end. Boom, good work. Hollow body hold. Let's do it. Hands up. Good. All the way to the end and we're done. Give yourself a round of applause or take a deep breath. We did it. Whew. Well done. Workout five in the books. If you haven't, make sure you go back and start at the beginning and work your way through this. We got workout six coming your way. Make sure you comment and give me a subscribe below so you don't miss any workouts. Have a good rest of your day. Kick some butt.